Hello friends, hola amigos. Today I'm going to show you a summary of all the modifications I did on my Qashqai. Welcome to this new video. So let's start here on the front of the car. As you can see here, I have a full LED Qashqai. So on this version, I didn't change the headlights. My previous Qashqai, I did. So as you can see here, I didn't change the fog light. This is still halogen. I have LED lights from my previous car, but I won't change them as fog lights are more efficient with halogen. LED tends to uh, make uh, the side worse. As you can see, I have installed gas rods, really practical, and um, even the, the workshop mechanics are quite happy with this option. So I also installed quite cool feature, this light. Really great in nighttime conditions. So in the last modification I did here that is visible is that martyr box. And uh, in the video, I told you that I would come back uh, to test if it work or not. So in order to do that, I put some American duct tape on here with the sticky side on this side. And as you can see, I have quite some hairs. So I still have this martyr problem. So I don't think one box is enough or they just um, get used to it but if I inspect the rest of the car I don't see any damage done and I didn't find any dead animals on the motor neither as I did in the first time so and then the last change I did you can see it a little bit over here is my horn so this G11B Qashqai has a double horn that is already quite good but as I had this horn anyway I changed it it is quite tricky though as one horn is situated over here the other one is buried down there under and isn't that easy to get a hold on on the previous Qashqai version the G11A it is wise to do and it is really easy so that are the mods in the front. So next are the turn indicators. As you can see on this version, I have this really nice LED signature that goes all over the headlight. So I didn't change anything to that. But as you can see, I have my dynamic turn indicators. I'm quite proud to say that I was one of the first to install them. It's a real nice discovery on AliExpress. Quite a test as well as nobody had them yet really great to see that a lot of people install them now there are a lot of tutorials that came afterwards as well so great job to you all they're really nice to have so i also installed dynamic indicators on the back especially at night time they're really nice well visible and on this video I have three versions. The first time I tried them all the way down here. And uh, those worked really great, but it was a little bit too flashy. So a lot of people didn't like them. And uh, I have to say, hey, I changed them uh, quite soon afterwards. Quite soon I installed them right over there. And in the last video I show you how to install a connector to shut them from the inside as well. My friend Tigerman has another solution. He installed those turn lights right over there. It's quite neat, I have to say. So now we go to the inside of the car. Let's start with the sport pedals. Really nice, cheap solution that just clip over there. And uh, it's a nice addition to your car. Then you can see my food well lights. I have two 
lights installed on every place. So two on the driver's side, two on the passenger side, and two on each seat. The idea is when the doors are opened, the bright white takes the overhand and the foot wells are lightened white. And when I shut the doors, only the RGB light stays on. And with an application, I can choose the color I want and the brightness. Then you can see here that I added some toggle switches. Quite simple to do. This one over here is to control my dynamic turn indicators in the back. Then you have here my LED in order to shut down my footwell light. As I said, the blue one or the RGB one is controlled with an application. And, now, and then this one is from my DRL light in the back. That was one of my biggest projects. And um, in order to install it, I had to feed the current from the motor inside the car. I have a video on that as well. And the current comes in from there, goes to my switch, and then it goes to the back. Then quite some questions on desk cams. One of my first videos where I uh, spoke in Dutch, but as in all my videos, you always have subtitles in your language. I have another video on the best way you can route the cable to a power source. For those who want to know, that little box there is for the French highways. Another thing I changed, thanks to Duncho, is my start-stop system. And here you can see, it is automatically off. And that's thanks to the module that I installed. So there are two ways to disable this auto stop start system. The most easiest way is to turn the little sensor under the bonnet. But the neatest way I think is with the module of Duncho that is installed right over here and behind here. This way the button still works, but remember your last choice. So then you have the film wrap interior lights. Strange enough, this old black Qashqai edition came with white plastic interior lights, so I film wrapped them in order to make it match better with the interior of the car. Of course, I used LED lights in the interior, so here and there, there are all LEDs. And the last modification I did inside was this little LED light in the armrest. It is motion sensitive, so it only goes on when I open the armrest. Then as I told you, I have DRL lights in the back, so that means that whenever I drive, even without having my headlights working, only the DRL signature lights, my, my tail lights also will work. With the toggle switch, I can choose whether to use them, yes or no. But I think it is not only quite nice, this LED signature on the back, but also much safer. Now with this sunny weather condition, you don't really need them. But um, as yesterday, it was quite foggy or when having a lot of rain, it really makes a difference. And another one I changed as well are the license plate lights, which I replaced with LED as well. It's a very easy mod. You just pull this one out and put the LED lights in. Those W5W lights available on AliExpress for only a couple of bucks. I had a harder time on that one because the wires were really short. I think they're blocked somewhere inside, but normally it's a really easy mod. So I also changed my backup lights and my turn lights into LED. The backup lights, as you can see quite clearly, uh, give a much brighter light, which helps to improve the camera quality. And the turn light, I changed to have much brighter light. And I have to say it is really bright now. So and then when we go into the 
trunk. There you can see the modifications I made here. So those are LED lights. I can really recommend having another light source in the trunk than that little shitty, pardon me my French, shitty light that they install uh, from fabric. Those LED bars really don't cost anything and are easy to install. And here you can see my little 12 volt source in the trunk, really useful. So there are also some mods that I won't do. One I really hesitate about was the automatic trunk. That's a module that you can install. You replace the guest rods and by double pressing the key fob the trunk will open itself automatically and you also have a button in the front on the dashboard the reason why I don't change it is because the trunk only opens at this height and that original height is a little bit higher so I will definitely hit my head against it it's also quite expensive I think uh, the whole kit together costs about four or five hundred euros I also think the opening of the trunk is quite slow. The last reason why I won't install this is because I think it is really handy when you have your hands full and you can wave your foot at the bottom of the car um, and it opens itself. But having to press the key fob isn't really logical if you have your hands full. So another mod that I won't install neither is the, the Saita or Sinusmart sat nav system as uh, I use CarPlay all the time the actual connect system suits me fine I also put a complete list in the video description with all the URLs to the different tutorial videos so I hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe and share and please leave a comment I will happy to see your reactions there